are several ways to place corners and borders on your quilt, but the trickiest is an L-shaped corner, and let me show you how to do it. I have some quilts laid out here of different borders techniques, and so let's look at these. First off, this is a peppermint candy one. This was digitized by one of my friends, Hattie Brown, and uh, she allowed us to use this quilt. So this is a fun one, but look what she's done. She has started her border right here, but she's placed a, uh, the same peppermint candy here in the corner. Just resized it, turned it on point, and placed it in the corner. So she didn't have to match up the corner and the borders. They stand on alone. The next one is a baby quilt with ducks and lambs on it. And the same thing goes, she's taken the duck and placed it in the corner and then used some freehand quilting to frame it. So that kind of gives you a cornerstone and then went off with the lambs and the ducks. On this quilt as well is another technique and that is the stars here. This goes starts here and just goes to the other side. Then again, the quilt's turned, so you're gonna have to take it off the frames and rotate the quilt, and then she starts or places the stars going this way and ends at this point. And if you wanted to, you could actually stitch off to a point there with just your freehand quilting. Okay, the next one is an L-shaped corner. And you can see where the little extra stitches are here. You can see that this is where it starts and it stitches up and comes over here and ends. So this is an L-shaped corner. Then the border is added between it. So you're going to add your corner, place it on your other side, and then put your border in between. And we'll show you how to do this today so that you get those perfect placement. Okay, I've loaded my quilt and I have it marked. And for today's, we just have a sample that I've marked. And I have a corner here that I need to place, a corner here, and this border in between. So when I'm finished quilting, I want it to look like the quilt that I have here, my sample. The design that I want to use is called Arcs Border. And I've brought it in and it's at 5.38 in width and the height is 5.37. Now I'm going to, going to zoom in a little bit on this so you can see this. The measurement of this design tells me that the height of the full design is 